Hello, everybody. My name is Vicki Lee. I hope you're having a wonderful new year. I wanted to talk about something that I've talked about long in the past. We talk about the Bible says a house is built by wisdom and through understanding it is established. And then knowledge is added, but it knowledge is not first, it's last. We hear so much today about knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. But I want to talk about the value of wisdom. And we're going to go to Proverbs chapter two to talk about it. Listen to what the Bible says about it. My son, if you receive my words and treasure up my commandments with you, making your ear attentive to wisdom and inclining your heart to understanding. Yes, if you call out for insight and raise your voice for understanding. If you seek it like silver and search for it, for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He's a shield to those who walk in integrity, guarding the paths of justice and watching over the way of his saints. Then you will understand righteousness and justice, and equity, every good path, for wisdom will come into your heart, and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Discretion will watch over you, understanding will guard you, delivering you from the way of evil, from men of perverted, of perverted speech, who forsake the paths of un uprightness, to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice in doing evil and delight in the perverseness of evil, men whose paths are crooked and who are devious in their ways. So you will be delivered from the forbidden woman, from the adulteress with her smooth words, who forsakes the companion of her youth and forgets the covenant of her God. For her house sinks down to death and her paths to be departed. None who go to her come back, nor do they regain the paths of life. So you will walk in the way of good and keep the paths of the righteous, for the upright will inhabit the land, and those with integrity will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the land, and the treacherous will be rooted out of it. By wisdom, a house is built, and by understanding, it is established, and then God shows you the knowledge, his knowledge, and then you are protected through your understanding. You are protected through that knowledge, and you have the discernment that you need, and as we look out at the world that is a series of minefields it always has been, it always will be in its present state. And we look at all these things that can take us off track. You learn not to step there. What is the, the verse that I said I'm going to say every hour of this year? What is that? Do you remember? If you go back, look at my teachings and you'll see, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. And in some of the translations, it says he will make your crooked paths straight. It's a minefield out there. We get off track, don't we? Sometimes in our younger years, through our conditioning, through our family systems, through all of these things, we get off track. Many times our purpose in life and our calling is based in those fields and what we had to learn through the suffering, through the failures, through coming and finding that God is all we need because there are moments when God was all we had. But it's saying, even if you have failed and you have lost it all and everything seems lost, you can come back and you can have it all in the Father, Son and Holy Spirit, who give you the protection and the wisdom and the discernment. So as we look out at this world and all the minefields that are placed for us, we don't have to step on those mines. Things don't have to blow up in our face. In fact, the Lord will protect you from the minefields themselves. Isn't that what we want? Don't we just want a vibrant 2024. This is what 
January 2nd of the year and we look forward to the year and we say, it's going to be a great one. And it can be, but that's the path. That's the way to wisdom. I want to encourage us all as we move forward. You can have that believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. And if you're in the middle of these minefields and you're at these intersections and you're like, wow, one more step and everything good in my life is going to blow up. Return to these principles. Return to God. Cry out. Humble yourself. Pray. Confess. Get it together. It's a loving God. Open 24 hours a day. God the Father sent his only begotten son. God in the flesh came to this earth. He lived a humble life, perfectly fulfilled the law, went to the cross and paid it all for you and for me so that we can have it all here. This is not heaven, but we can be mightily blessed and happy above all. Isn't that what it's all about? My name is Vicki Lee. If you'd like my speaking, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, everybody.